Hey y'all, so welcome back to another What's For Dinner. In this video, I'll be sharing with you three meals that I've made my family throughout this week. My meals are easy, delicious, and budget friendly, and also large family friendly as well. So let's hop right on in into today's video. And so the first meal that I'm gonna be making is cheesy chicken, rice, and broccoli. It's a skillet meal, you guys. It's super easy and so delicious. So first off, I'm just gonna go ahead and melt some butter into my Dutch oven. And then I'm also going to add in about two tablespoons of minced garlic. And I also wanted to throw out to you guys, make sure you guys check out my description box because I always post all the ingredients you're going to need for all the recipes. And I will try my best to have all the um, measurements down below as well. And I also like to add on the times to each of the meals that I have put into my video. So if you're interested, please go make sure you check it out down below. And you can have all the ingredients to all the recipes like I said. It's super convenient for you guys, so please make sure you guys check that out. So here I just added in my chicken breast, and I went ahead and I'm going to go ahead and add in some Italian seasoning. I'm also going to go ahead and add in some black pepper along with some salt. And I'm just going to cook my chicken up until my chicken is no longer pink. And also, if you guys have noticed, we are in our new house. I just wanted to throw that out there in case you've seen like a whole new scenery and was wondering what was going on. Yes, we moved over the weekend, well, last weekend, and we are loving it. It's so much bigger, and we are just loving it. So, you guys, next, I'm going to get ready and add in my rice. Once my chicken was done, I have three cups of rice here. I'm just going to go ahead and add that in, along with six cups of chicken broth. And here it just shows I used four, but I did I did end up using um, a full six cups just because I was using three cups of rice. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and add in my chopped onions. And so next, I'm just going to give this a quick mix, and I'm going to go ahead and pop the lid on. And I'm just going to let this cook for about 20 to 25 minutes or until my rice is about done. So once that process is done, I'm going to go ahead and add in some mild cheddar cheese. And I'm just going to mix that all in there, get it nice and cheesy. You guys know me, the more cheese, the better. And so after that, I'm going to go ahead and add in my broccoli. Here I just have some broccoli florets here. I'm going to go ahead and throw them in. Then I'm just going to give that to um, a good mix. And after that, I'm going to pop the lid on and just let that cook like this for about six-ish minutes until my broccoli is nice and tender. And so once my broccoli was done, I'm going to go ahead and add on some more cheese onto the top. If you guys know me, like I say in all my videos, when I'm using cheese, the more cheese, the better. I love, love, love me some cheese, you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add this onto the top and I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my lid. And I'm just gonna let this sit just until it melts for about two to three minutes. And so for a quick side, I'm gonna go ahead and make a salad on the side. So here I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in some Caesar croutons. And I also have these eggs that I got from Kroger, you guys. I really do recommend these. These are super convenient. I love to add in these into my salads. The kids love the snack on them, so they're super, super convenient. So here I'm just going to go ahead and cut these into fours, and I'm just going to go ahead and add them in. And so here it is all done, you guys. As you can see, it looks nice and cheesy, just the way I like it. And here is my plate, and I just served my salad with the honey French style dressing. If you know me, I love me the French style dressing. It is seriously my fave, and it was seriously so, so good. And so on this particular night, I'm going to be making Cajun shrimp and rice. It's a skillet meal as well, you guys. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I love me just a one skillet meal. Super convenient. So here I just have some raw shrimp here that I've already peeled. I have some smoked sausage here along with three cups of rice. I also have some Cajun seasoning. I have some butter along with two tablespoons of garlic, red and green bell pepper, and I also have onion. And then I also have a can of diced tomatoes. I really do recommend using the oven roasted, but I did not find any at the store that day. And I also have some seafood stock. So this is everything we're going to need. So let's hop right into it. So first I'm going to go ahead and add in some olive oil into my hot pan here and I'm first going to start off by frying up my smoked sausage 
and you can totally use more than I did this is just what I had on hand so I just went ahead and used it up so I'm just gonna cook these up until they're nice and brown then I'm gonna set these to the side And so next, I'm just going to get started on the shrimp. I like to drizzle some olive oil only because I feel like it makes the seasonings stick more to the shrimp. So I'm going to go ahead and add in some Cajun seasoning. And I'm just going to give that a good mix and mix it up with my hand to get the flavors nice incorporated. And then I'm also, you're going to see me just add a tad bit more of Cajun seasoning. I really love the, the taste of it. It is seriously so delicious. And so next, I'm just going to go ahead and fry them up until they're nice and done. And once they are done, I'm also going to place these to the side for later. And so do y'all see the bottom of the pan, you guys? Do not scrape that up. I cannot stress that enough. That is just gonna give more flavor into this meal. I'm telling you guys, do not scrape it up. It's just gonna incorporate with all the ingredients, you guys, and it's gonna come up. It's not gonna be burnt like that, you guys. I promise you, that is just flavor. So first off, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in some butter and I'm just gonna cook this up until it's melted. And here I'm just adding in some onion and I'm gonna mix it up just for a second and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in two tablespoons of minced garlic. And I'm just gonna cook the garlic up with this just for about one second until it begins to get nice and fragrant. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my bell peppers. And so after I add in my bell peppers, you guys, we are not gonna cook these too long. I'm only gonna cook these for about one to two minutes just because I still want them to have a good texture as they're cooking so they're not all mushy. So that's why I'm only cooking these up for about one to two minutes. Then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my rice. So here it is, looks kind of wet because I did rinse it off really well. So I'm just gonna mix it up real quickly. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my Cajun seasoning along with my diced tomatoes. And so next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in six cups of my seafood stock. And I'm also gonna add back in my smoked sausage. And I'm just gonna mix that up really, really well. And then I'm gonna pop the lid on and let this simmer on a medium low for about 20 to 25 minutes or until my rice is nice and done. And so after about 25 minutes and my rice was done, I went ahead and I added on my shrimp to the top. You can go ahead and add on all the shrimp if you'd like, but I just kept it like this just for presentation because I think it's so beautiful. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my shrimp on top and then I'm gonna pop my lid on just for about two to three minutes. And then that's it, you guys. Super easy and just super fast and so delicious. And so this is what it looks like when it's all done. Don't you see how delicious it looks, you guys? It was seriously super delicious. I was really craving shrimp this day and it definitely hit the spot and I just served mine with some fresh lemon. So on this last meal, you guys, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys this asado chicken and sauteed lemon zucchini meal. You guys, that I've made, it is seriously super delicious. I actually found this recipe on Pinterest so here I just have a mixture of seasonings that I will share with you here shortly in the video. I'm also going to add in two tablespoons of minced garlic along with some salt. And I'm also going to add in chicken broth along with some lemon juice. And I'm just going to whisk this up until it's nice incorporated. And I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit more chicken broth because this is going to be our marinade for our chicken. So I'm just going to mix that up really quickly. And like I said you guys, please make sure you guys check down in the description box like I said previously in the video. I always keep all the ingredients down there, so please make sure you check it out. I know it will be super convenient for you guys. So next, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in my chicken, and I'm just gonna mix this up really, really well and make sure all my chicken is nice and coated. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to let this marinate for about 30 minutes. And if you don't have time, just let it marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes. That should totally work as well. But I had some extra time on my hands, so I just let it marinate for about 30 minutes. And so here's the ingredients that I used for the marinade. I just have some ground paprika, I have some crushed red peppers, I have some oregano, cumin, onion powder, black pepper, lemon, minced garlic, and chicken stock, along with some salt. 
So that is everything that I used. So next, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in some olive oil into my hot skillet here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chicken. So I used thin chicken breast, and it was super quick to fry up, you guys. I really do recommend you guys using the thin ones rather than the thicker ones. So I literally fried these for about three to four minutes on each side. That is literally all it took. And so after about three to four minutes, I went ahead and flipped it. And as you can see, this color looks absolutely amazing. It just looks so pretty. And also, you guys, I was so excited to try out this recipe. Let me tell you, I did not regret it. Everybody loved it. It was super delicious. And I'll definitely be making it again. And so after that, I just went ahead and I reserved the rest of my chicken marinade so I can use it when I saute up my zucchini. So in the same pan, you guys, I just went ahead and I'm going to go ahead and add in all my zucchini. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and saute this up and I'm gonna add in the marinade. And so I'm just gonna saute these until my zucchini is nice and tender. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in my marinade. And let me mention you guys, I did end up adding in a little bit more cumin and onion powder and paprika just to amp up the flavor a little bit more because when it was done I tasted it I felt like it needed a little something so I just decided to add in some more um, seasonings just to amp up the flavor a little bit so here is you guys the zucchini is all done and let me tell you it was seriously so good and here is my plate and I just served this with some fresh lemon juice and let me tell you the lemon makes all the difference it was seriously super delicious and like I said I would definitely be trying this again so that is it for today's video, you guys, and thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye!